If you follow this channel, you know that I'm a huge Brooklyn Net fan. That's right. I'm one of two Brooklyn Net fans in, across the, the state here, across the country. I want to give you my thoughts on the 2018-2019 uh, uh, season for uh, coming into the season for the Brooklyn Nets. Following kind of another series, season full of injuries under the radar, emer uh, emergencies and kind of a late game losses. The Brooklyn Nets are nearly, I think, impossible to nail down. Um, since the offseason began in July, the Nets have managed to move Timothy Mozgov's albatross of a contract, draft two intriguing European prospects, and they were, we were able also, I think, to add short-term pieces like Napier and Ed Davis to the puzzle. You know, Jeremy Lin was presumed to be the next franchise point guard, traded to Atlanta in a series of moves that brought Kenneth Fareed uh, and, a, and a protective first round pick back in return. In bursts, the Nets kind of have shown signs of life in recent years, but that pesky injury bug has always kind of derailed our efforts before too long. Um, I'm looking at this team, and um, we, we've regained control of all of our first-round draft picks for the first time in five years, okay? Beyond that, I think Brooklyn has amassed a young, you know, a hearty collection of developing young guys, right? But at this point, they're still waiting for one of them to break out. And now we have veterans on low-cost deals here as well, you know, such as Jared Dudley, uh, Graham included. Um, you know, we might just soon enough have that right mix of athleticism and experience to at least make some noise in a weaker conference. You know, uh, Kenny Atkinson's work with these Nets since the day he stepped into this uh, foot in this organization has been nothing short of superb, right? He has the team, the team believing in itself. Players are getting opportunities that, uh, you know, that they've earned. They're flourishing because of, you know, uh, because of it. You know, look at Spencer Dinwiddle. D'Angelo Russell will be at full uh, strength, full full health, clean build to start the year. So, I could see them maybe even being in the third place in this division. Third place. And, you know, our top offensive player... Um, uh, to me, when I look at it, D'Angelo Russell, uh, he has potential to become a superstar once again. Two bad campaigns with uh, the Lakers. Russell joined the Nets last offseason as a, you know, kind of like what was presumed to be the centerpiece uh, on a roster full of secondary options, Russell he's dropped you know twenty some up. Uh, he's dropped twenty plus points in six of his first twelve contests. Then he underwent uh, knee surgery in November, missed thirty two games, and then kind of struggled for that. Uh, he kind of struggled to find that consistency in his return. Still plenty of reasons to be excited that Russell and what he represents, he has a chance to represent Brooklyn's best chance of, you know, he's, he has a chance to be Brooklyn's superstar in that franchise. This is fourth season. Russell is just 22 years old. He shows skills of an offensive juggernaut. Through 191 games, I believe it is, Russell has hit three or more three-pointers on 50 separate occasions already. So, Brooklyn's going to go far as as far as Russell takes them. Our top defensive player, when you look at defense, I think it's Rondé Hollis Jefferson. Um, long, hard-working 6'7 forward, practically guard four positions on the floor. 
Um, his offensive game is improving. Um, I think he'll get there. He's going to be a free, uh, restricted free agent next July. So expect more of his uh, look. Look for him to have a great year this year, especially since he's hating. Uh, he's since he's going into the uh, free agency. I think our top clutch player is Spencer Dinwiddle. Uh, recent third place finisher for most improved player. Uh, he's patiently waited. He's waited. He's waited in the in the background. He's gone up against uh, the likes of a C.J. McCollum, Russell Westbrook, for game tying a go ahead shots in the final minute. This guy is clutch. Look for him. Kenneth Fareed, unheralded player. Unheralded player. He has look out for him. Uh, he's an absolute menace and pest in the paint. And he makes up for that. He makes up by that, you know, for what he lacks uh, in range. I think uh, Sean Marks, he, he's, he's got this team going in the right direction. The biggest strengths I think that the Nets have is winning our three-point prowess. 